your legs first back to the New Member Showcase. Woo! Members, and we're basically here today to show off their talent or anything else. Uh, there's a selection of pieces which hopefully you'll enjoy. You won't know hardly any of them. There's me and Kerry Spritz in them. It's been a hard two weeks. Just put a pair of my nail in their scripts, most of their scripts, two weeks ago, and they've done a brilliant job. Um, tonight is basically a product for their hard work, um, and I hope you're as packed as you should be. Just be aware if you're in the front row, this whole area is their acting space. Do you have your legs sticking out or they will snap on you? Uh, it's in that direction. Right, okay. Um, basically, I hope you enjoy the night and I, yeah, they do a great job. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. 
cultural methods and stuff. And this woman just fell over. And I like wanted to help. Because that's like not the way they are. It's kind of like going to an aquarium with, you know, less water and less plastic on the glass. And I like that I didn't have my key to get out of the gate. I don't know. Do you look no. No. I don't know. No one. I don't want to know.
I'm trying to motivate. I'm basically ethnic, no? That's no. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Where have you been? I'm sorry, I've had the worst day. Jason! Katie! Oh, he's a fucking joke. Oh, you're seeing it now? Just answer the question.
Good morning, class. Now, today's lesson is timid. You, you put that away, timid. Thank you. Now, today's lesson is stereotypes. Can any of you tell me what the definition of a stereotype is? That's right, the generalization of the behavior of a certain group of people. Now, can anyone tell me a stereotype about homeless people? No, Timmy, they do not all think they are Jesus. <laughs> Martha? Yes, crazy! Crazy, that is right. Now, Timmy, if you interrupt me one more time, I will be forced to take action. Right? That's it! You've been a naughty boy, Timmy. <laughs> Stereotypes of homeless people. That's right. Wait, point the object at it. If don't get the point, then what's the point of proceeding? Besides the object, of course. God, Timmy, you are delightful. Excuse me, can't you see I'm teaching here? What? You just walked into my classroom. Do you have a note? <laughs> <laughs> Your class, class. Admitted, I'm maybe you don't have to well, um, you know what they said, Why is it all No, homeless people need your kids. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a saying, Reginald. At least it's not a very good one. Right. Indeed. Now, on the English session, come up and introduce yourself. Fellow students won't bite. I might. <laughs> I mean, I will. <laughs> <laughs> you have some Timmy there, haven't you? Timmy, stop making a spectacle of yourself. Can't you see we have a guest? Oh, come on, Reginald. We do this every day. This is my spot. These are my students. Hughes, I'm not one of your students. I'm the not Look, Just introduce yourself. Look, Reggie. Oh, that's my name. No, well. my name is not Reggie. <laughs> my name is Algernon. <gasps> Algernon. I don't know an Algernon from these parts, but um, he up and left a long time ago. So I'm saying he died. I didn't die. I went to work three hours ago. Because you want to say itself? your language, you rapscallion! I will bend you over my knee and give you a good time. A good time? Jesus Christ, Shh. The thing is that Benjamin has a queer love. <laughs> now, now, don't be demeaning. Just because they're children doesn't mean they're not going to go back. It's a fucking well a corner, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know she's a business lady. She wears polyester suits and 
leather shoes, hand-crafted by like happy leathery making men. She probably paid more than 10 pounds for them. Nothing still with the class up here. And what did we learn from that wonderful day out kids? That's right. Stealing is wrong. And the police aren't afraid to strip search you these days. I don't see why they need to think like that. Maybe it's hardly choosers. Pardon the fun. <laughs> All right, Benjamin, calm down. Wasn't that funny? You can never get hunter a lot. Oh, but that's right, Janot. Me and the war promised to keep our conversation secret, and you just blurted them out. How could you defy his trust like that? It's gonna make you pick this. I bet you are bricking it! I'm not talking about fucking war, Reggie! What are you doing on the floor? I thought we were about to take on this war. You know, uh, cement our friendship, <laughs> build on what we already had. Work on the cracks in our relationship? <laughs> no, no. I don't want to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, Benjamin, that is the last one I promised. Come on, let us do this. A Jew. <laughs> a Jew! <laughs> All right, fine, whatever. A Jew, yes, let's just do this. Well, if it is a Jew, we must do this right. We will meet here at sunrise to fight to the death for the hand of Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> no school board won't approve. Why can't we just this now? So do not appear to have my musket on me. But you have my word as a gentleman and educator. I shall return. To the reservoir! <laughs>
and stuff, so I'll give you 10 minutes before I come in and drag you out myself. Come on. That's it, Alex, I'm done. You're not sleeping in the fucking bed tonight. You can sleep in the floor that you fucking deserve. Sleep in there for like fucking care.
it says it meets his ex-wife.
recite it. I don't like the hours. Oh, the university you are. They expect me to work when the pubs are open. Oh, look, there are other two. Better ones. That's not very good. She only bit that one person. 
least to, I'm only saying what everyone else is, was saying.
I don't want to know. I know where you're going to be, but... Look at the status of far and half like some fool of a girl. It's a guy not supposed to fall like a chocolate fucking toad in a Don't be saying fuck to me, James. I'm sorry. It would make me want to be giving you some serious fuck. He's just tinkering with me toenails on his head. Hello? Just fucking tinkering with me toenails on his head. James Hanley, will you stop going on about your fucking toenails? By the way, you're talking. It's as if I took away from him. Hold on, James. Who are you talking to? We're so concerned for her about the health of them toenails. It may be a case of a book. Well, you're saying you're that job now. Anyway. If I hadn't have been such a nice man, I would have taken one tone of each foot. But I didn't. I took them off the tooth, the same So it's only one foot you'll have to be limping on instead of two. If it had been the two, oh, you'd have found it a devil to be getting around her. But with the pain concentrated in one foot. I'm sure if you found it, he's a stick. Uh, a punch, maybe. I don't know if the general hospital had them out. You might have to call and check. Or even better, you may as well go in. But, now that I don't think it, you may need a tetanus gel, too. Or a case injections. Do you know, I think it might be a big problem Slash the little razor than have an injection. But sure, wouldn't I rather read her? <laughs> you just think about this. You're not going to vote for the end of the day. What a shit day you're having. I've lost my train of thought now, so I have. You've lost your train of thought? Slow as that fucking train, isn't it? You've lost it. <laughs> Next, always on the agenda. Is which gender you want to be when it's no, no. Come on, that's the right. Come on now, James. Be picking your nipples. <laughs> Whichever one you like more. I won't be touching that minute. And we concentrate on the other one. And be giving him a nice slice. And maybe he's feeding it to him. If you don't pick, and pick quick, you'll be waving goodbye to two of them. When wave goodbye to two tits, when you only have to wave goodbye to the one, it makes no sense to me at all. As far as I can see, in my eyes, in fact, the one thing is the mark of the mark. But, pick your nipple and we'll be getting the ball rolling. For I have better things to be doing, James Handy, than hanging around the warehouse and sucking your nipples off. <laughs> Look, now, I haven't done anything to deserve nipples off, Patrick. Oh, no, no, not yet. I know. One thing about the IRA, as much as I hate the fucking bastard, 
playing on the police bar. The employment wants to be given those steps. Sir told me you need them for themselves. And they charge the yard and you have to fall. But you think about four constituents. No more lady forms. There's no doubt it's not spiritual. Sure. A splinter group is the best splinter group to splinter from. Show you know your mom. We can't talk about splinter groups here now with a lot of hair in the road. You put them apart. What about the cops? Or how poor? How long have you been off this food? I'll be taken to the doctor. Not too much. Now that. Between not too bad and poor, there's a major fucking difference. You can't be the soup at the same fucking time. Now between not too bad and poor, which one is he? And you wouldn't be calling me if it wasn't that bad. You bastard. What are you up with? Put me down to the floor. He's asleep. But put him like that. And we stroke him. And don't be talking too loud here. We'll be home on the first fucking boat in the morning here. Bastard. It's me, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> He's off his food! Show us nothing to worry about. We got this food. We probably have spring water. Is that fucking serious? No, just part, just part of some carrots. Get spring water carrots. Give them to him. And wrap them in cheese. See, Cat's not like it is. Give them a bit of cheese. We'll take them. Open up some dishes. Right, it's free. Thank you. 
drop in her ocean. I've never been outgoing. I've never owned a room like she does. I can't say hello to just anyone. Help. I can't even keep eye contact with anyone. I don't even know how it got out. I used to have this huge crush on a guy called James Ellis. Naturally, we never spoke.
not enough. It's not as if she didn't get enough bloody experience. She looked at me like she was disgusted. I was disgusted. I am disgusted. No, you're getting confused. <coughs> Do I even like it?
How do you feel? Did you ever love me? Yes, I suppose it is. I do want you to look back on this and smile, but I kind of want that smile to be through tears. Oh. 